Hello and welcome to Graham Snackers. I'm here again with Steven to try a brand new Mountain Dew that I'm very excited about. Yeah, this one is uh, something that they've been teasing for a while now. It is uh, Mountain Dew Spark Eliminated uh, Raspberry Mountain Dew. Pretty excited about it's, this one. It's got some art that's kind of reminding me of the uh, Maui Burst one. I don't know, it's got some very cool looking art. Some yeah. very cool art. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a Raspberry Lemonade Mountain Dew, which uh, just sounds like it's going to be good. I guess I got just a pink Lemonade Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's literally everything that you would want from the beverage dispenser of your dreams. Just made manifest into a, a tight 12-ounce bottle. And uh, yeah, <laughs> no. 16.9 ounce. Oh, these are really? these are tall boy bottles. Well, let's crack in. Okay. It smells like a pink lemonade. Oh. Now, can I tell you my one concern? Okay. I drank so much pink lemonade as a child. I got sick and then didn't like pink lemonade after that. Are you really? And so. Like I so so this is maybe like my first pink lemonade in a long time. Pink Whitney being the exception, the alcoholic pink lemonade. The one that literally says we're going to spit out our teeth after this one. Oh. No, I read the bottle of Pink Whitney. That's what it says. I think Mountain Dew is a good stepping stone to get me back into pink lemonade. Well, let's hope so. It smells nostalgic. It smells like a... Oh, good. Oh. I like this a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in. Mmm. Wow, this is really good. I can see golf greens right now, which is wild to me, because I've never really played golf all that much, but I see it. I see it, like, right now, like, I see that nine hole right down if I can just, if I can just angle it just correctly. Mm -hmm. That's golf sounds. It's almost a shame that this came out in January because this tastes like such a good summer drink, but I guess yeah. that's Baja's territory. So they just got to release the like pink lemonade in winter. Here's the weird thing about this, this drink. I haven't really heard it being time stamped. Oh, so you think this might be a, uh, like a, a new permanent flavor? It's a really sweet flavor. It tastes candy-esque. Like, just... just in the sense it almost reminds me of like the voodoos with how sweet they are. It has a tartness that oh. I do enjoy. Yeah. And then it's, it's super tart. It's really pushing that lemon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I do feel like original Mountain Dew is lurking in the background. Oh, you want to bring up this whole issue? I'm just saying, I think it's lurking in the black background. You say that there's an original Mountain Dew push in this I just think summer it's, treat. Yeah, I just think it's hanging out, just kind of guiding the, the lemon and the raspberry on where to go. So help me, I see it too. Yeah. I, I just, mm, you're so frustrating because you won't let this this theory of yours die. Yeah, it's due with a blast of raspberry lemonade. They took Mountain Dew, they blasted it with raspberry lemonade. I'm reading, I'm reading that exact same flavor text and now I, I think you might be right. Thinking back about all the other dues we've reviewed. Yeah, which has been quite a few. Quite a few at this point. I think that the Baja Flash, which was that coconut mm -hmm. flavor one, mm -hmm. and I think the Flaming Hot. Oh. I think. We still got some of that. I think that those are the only Mountain Dews that might top this. I think those are one of the best dues we've reviewed. And this could even still be better than those ones. This might be the best. I haven't really even gone into the mindset of like, this could be a flavor topper. But let me just go into that with, with that mindset. 
it's a whole different animal. Mm -hmm. This do is a standalone greatest hit. It's it's super unique. Yeah, no, it's just like we okay. It's a sunny day. It rained earlier. Your mom's crying. But it's okay. Chicken nuggets in the back seat. This is what this do makes you feel? Yeah. Uh, this is like, uh, it's like you're in your friend's basement and you're like 10 years old and you you went to the pool earlier, but now you're playing N64 and it still smells like chlorine, but you're in a basement with a bowl full of pretzels playing N64. This is what this flavor reminds me of. That makes perfect sense to me. Honestly, yours is better. Yeah. Yeah. My mom doesn't cry in my version. <laughs> yeah. This has a very nostalgic vibe. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's almost like, um, I don't want to say bottled childhood. But we're not going to not say bottled childhood. Because that's really good. Yeah. Like, it's... Mountain Dew, bottle your childhood. Bottle it up and sell it in stores. I think we accidentally overhyped this dew. Yeah, I, yeah, maybe a little bit. It's good. Try it out for yourself. I am going to rate this dew an incredible. I think this is one of the best Mountain Dew flavors they've ever made. And I do hope that it stays in stores because I would like to drink more for the rest of my life until I die, which will be soon because of all the Mountain Dew I'm going to drink. I would rate this Mountain Dew an in for nostalgic because that's what it is. It's pure bottled nostalgia. Get in on it or don't. I'm going to get in on this. How dare you? <laughs>